Hey there, I'm Ty Clark. I'm a licensed massage therapist. Now, if you or someone that you massage has neck pain, especially chronic neck pain, you need to watch this video. I'm gonna show you how to do a gua sa massage for the neck, and I'll show you the reason why this will completely transform your results. My client said at the end of this massage, I haven't been able to move my neck like this in years, so I wanna show you how to do it. Now, normally I get right to the point, but I have to say that we as video creators are able to keep making these videos and grow only with your support. And YouTube sees these videos as valuable when you click the subscribe button, when you hit the bell icon, when you like this video or comment or share. So thank you to all of you who have been there for me and let's get started. Okay, right now I am warming up the tissue. This is vital to have desirable results with Gua Sa. This style of therapeutic modality has been used by the Chinese for thousands of years and helped to boost the immune system and to reduce inflammation. But with a neck massage, we're going to use it to help release fascial adhesions. The neck is especially complex because we have 26 neck muscles and we also have fascial tissue that creates sleeping bag-like pockets around the muscle. And when we get stressed, when we get dehydrated, overtired, overworked, our fascia reacts to that. Now in the neck, years of stress and anxiety and tension can create some pretty severe negative patterns. The most common one that I see is when the shoulders are being shrugged closer and closer towards the ears. And then of course, another one is the forward head pull from looking at screens all day. And no amount of stretching can loosen that up. Then when it gets massaged, it helps for a while, but it tends to go right back to where it was. And that is the crux of the problem, unless you are using some sort of fascial release. Guasa helps break up those adhesions and allows the therapist to actually separate those muscles and lengthen and stretch out the neck. Now with Guasa, you can use different tools and I have a video where I talk about the different materials and which ones that I recommend, or you can just use a jar lid from your house, of course, one that's not sharp, or you can also look at the description down below and I'm gonna link to some of the tools I use that you can find on Amazon. I'm using a diagonal angle on my tool and I'm scooping in and then returning to my original spot with each stroke. So I know it kind of looks like I'm scraping back and forth, but I'm actually returning to the starting point each time. I'm creating deep heat, which is important. Now, a lot of times people will feel pain and tightness at the tendon area of the muscle, which is at the end, and that tends to be at the high insertion point of many of those muscles, as well as the distal tendons by the scapula and the clavicle, and then uh, they'll rub and rub those areas because that's where they're feeling the pain. But remember, although we feel tension at the ends of muscles, the problem is almost always in the middle of the muscle. When someone has chronic neck pain, there can usually be found several layers of thickened fascia, which has been shown in many medical studies to directly correlate with pain. And you need to heat it up and, this modal and use this modality to break it up. Now that's why it's vital that the skin and the fascia and the muscle is warm enough before using your tool. When you're looking at the coloring as you start, it, if it looks blanched or white, you need to use some more normal massage to get it a little bit warmer or ready. Now a pink or red coloring indicates readiness. And if you see hickey-like spots come to the surface, that it's called petechia. This indicates a chronic adhesion or a chronic condition. And if you come par across parts that are bumpy and grainy, do not be afraid to remain there. They can be painful, but you've also found the spot that you need to focus on. You may not get complete fascial release in one session, but you are always making progress separating fibers and just renewing it with fresh blood.
Now on my client, Sherry, I am drawn to her SEM, her scalenes, because there's thickness and it's slowing down my tools I'm going across. Now you can see the petechia right there in the middle. She's a crossfitter and runner and she, her, she has a computer job and it really challenges those traps and the stabilizer muscles. So, and we work on our upper back a lot, but we have never hit the neck area with guasa and I can see that is much needed. Now you can go all the way from the front muscles to the back muscles. You can even go lightly over the spine, but most clients do not like that proximity to their throat if you're scraping close to that. So I generally use manual fascial release there instead of scraping. And then always remember to take a pause and give your client a break and just do some regular massage. And here's a little bit more pin and stretch that you can use. Just grab onto that trap. You're gonna hold onto the outer edge there and just allow the client to stretch out and away from it. Now I wanted to show the use of my other tool, which is actually my favorite when working on this area of the neck. This particular one has edges that are thinner and I can really access deeper layers. Now also when you're working the neck, you need to work the traps. The traps connect to the back of the neck and really shouldn't be forgotten. There have been countless times where the clients come in with neck pain and we found that the source of the adhesion is actually at the bottom of that trap. And it, when that is tight, it pulls on the whole trapezius and it can be felt up in the neck. So make sure that you hit this area too. And then lastly, I wanted to show the opposite side to show that yes, one side can definitely be a lot worse. She really had some dark show here and it was really nice to see a release. Now I have a bunch of different Guasa videos that you can definitely check out. I'll link to one above or you can wait till the end of the video and there'll be some link there. But if you wanna work different parts of the body, there's different techniques that you can use with Guasa. So make sure you check those out.